welcome to my channel it's sunday and i'm getting ready to go y'all know where to church and is she wearing them long earrings to church yes god i am <laughs> y'all know i'm uh the g word fabulous and i'm getting to wear my shoes today my juicy shoes so i'm wearing that i kind of put a little eyeshadow on to match do you understand me and i got on one piece this one piece gray uh, I've worn this before. I'm sure y'all saw this before, maybe three or four months ago. So yeah, we're getting ready to go to church. Ooh. I'm so glad I get to wear my shoes today. And we got on our Amazon Spanx. The one with the wide band. The one that I don't like because it make you well, don't worry about that, y'all. And I'm gonna wear my jacket to match. And y'all see, I put my stars on the other side. So the only way to do that is to believe. Now, in this building right now, because you might leave church early, if you believe that you came from God and that God sent Jesus to give us the message that he wants all of us, whosoever believe, he wants all of us to have everlasting life. If you in your heart today can say, Lord, I believe that you are my father. I want you to raise your hand. See now, this spirit had to make sure that this body, watch this, that this body heard that. And this body told his mind, I don't care if you're mad at Ricky Rush or not. <laughs> you better say it. Because he your mind will tell you. He ain't tell you what to do. This ain't even your church. He ain't your pastor. Did you hear about what they said? Shut your mind. Your mind, your, your soul told you, stop trying to debate and let's get out of hell. Yeah. And so, if you believe that, raise your hand. I don't care if you've been doing it 50 million years, okay? Now, when you do that, I, won't, I don't know if this will show up. Oh, this is not red enough. But right now, I'm going to write the word, I'm in. Done. That means this can never, ever, ever go to hell. Somebody, it's not going to sound right in church, but I'm going to say it. You know, heard somebody say, Go to hell. That's not your invitation. <laughs> Tell them, Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Why? Because I've been redeemed. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Y'all ready? Can we go to the sermon a little bit this morning? Pastor Sherman, am I okay? Am I going to okay? Okay. So, we gave ourselves to Jesus when we were born again, all of us. See, we're not even maybe sure this morning because right now, if you just said, I believe, and you raise your hand, the Lord just said, that's all I needed you to do was say yes. Now, in a minute, we may ask you want to be a member of this church because that's what I'm here to do sure you because if you're going to be uh, fed, you got to have a store or somewhere to get food. That's what the church is for. But we'll walk out of here right now knowing that we've done what God wanted us to do and make sure that everybody knows that he loves them and that they've accepted him. And now you have become a new creature in Christ. Now, I know some people want you to wait 15 months, um, go through a whole bunch of stuff, uh, go sugar-free for two weeks. It's a whole lot of stuff that I just can't, yeah, I just couldn't do to be saved. It was just too much. I mean, to, to give up all this. And when I found out, according to God's word, that all I had to do was believe in you. Now, that may make someone say, well, whoa, I can live the way I want to. No, 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 now. No, 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 no. No, there's a 
ing on a word up here that says you gotta be, you gotta come to renew your mind. That means you renewing your mind means your mind's gotta keep updating just like your computer. Uh, and you don't, you don't, you gotta keep feeding it, or your spirit will get weak. And when your spirit is weak, your mind is weak, hmm. and that's what makes your body get weak. Most of us don't have a physical ailment. We've been attacked spiritually. And now your spirit is saying, I need you to fight for your life until I call you back. Because you'll never die. This is going out. So if you don't mind being patient with me, I want to talk to somebody who didn't just want to come to church today. Or somebody who's been trying to figure out how can I get this new person I am to stop living like that old person I was. <laughs> Jesus. We gave ourselves to Christ when we were born again. Now, Paul said, now we need to give our bodies and souls to him as well. He has this. That's good. That's done. But these two right here, they are jacked up. The body and the soul are in trouble. That's good. We gave that to him. Most of us now are living because this is being tortured. Why well, have to go to church then? Because that's in trouble. That's in trouble. More, more people are going through psychologists and psychiatrists now than I've known ever in history. And the psychiatrist got a therapist. Right on. And the psychiatrist is getting his or her help from the word of God. <laughs> and if your psychiatrist doesn't believe in your father, that's the wrong psychiatrist. I mean, real, that's real. Cause Satan's a spirit also. People are advised to kill themselves. Suicide is popular now because it's a popular thing. Where does it come from? Whatever's on the inside. And then it tells your mind to tell your body, let's jump. Satan is not going to ever fight your children over anything as hard as he's going to fight with them about coming to church. He never fought with you about anything as hard as he fought with you about coming to church. So then we started knocking it down to what am I going to wear, how am I going to look, and etc., etc., etc. Now, the Bible says, and let me go on with the word here because I almost all sound like I'm trying to just talk to y'all. I need him to talk to you. Philippians said, wherefore, my beloved, that's us, that's Christians, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, because you're cool when I'm around, but now much more when I'm not around. Then he says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Well, I thought I did that. No, 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 no. You gave him your life. Now you got to give him your mind and body. So he's not talking about working out, getting on some committees. I feel like I got to work in the church. I don't feel like I'm doing nothing not working in the church. That's because you're not effective in your house. Okay? Work out, work out, work out, work out. That means complete it. Now you got to complete your own, self, your own salvation. You got to complete it. You did the right thing. Now you got to do the rest of it. Okay, Wayne, bring me your Bible. Now watch, watch, just stand up right there. Stand up, just, just, when I tell you this, just stand up. Okay, ready? Sit back down. Y'all watch Wayne. Wayne is right there. Wayne, bring me your Bible. Just stand up. Wayne, bring me your Bible. See, he did the first thing by standing. And acknowledging he has it. But he's not doing the rest of it. Okay, let's do this. This time, Wayne, when I say stand up, I want you to stand up, but don't have your Bible. Okay? Okay? Wayne, bring me your Bible. See, that's the Lord saying, give me your life. Okay, so Wayne is obedient. That's the first part. But that second part, bring and Bible, that's where he's missing. Why did he stand up? Why did Wayne stand up? Because he heard me. And faith coming by what? Hearing. See, God can always tell when you're not listening because you stay down too much. Wait. Jesus. 
Now, guess what just clapped? Your hands, because your spirit was, did you hear that? That's what's wrong with us. <laughs> you kept going and taking us to church, but you got your iPod in your ear. You keep talking to death to why we in church. <laughs> See, your spirit will say, ooh, would you clap? Because that's what we need right there. Your spirit is sometimes burping your word. And when, the, when you burp, it just tastes like what you just had. Your spirit is not going to ever make you curse. Thank, thank you, Mike. Uh, I'm not close enough with it. Here it is. You belong to God. The real you. But your body and soul belong to you. And they have to change. <laughs> Laughing by myself. <laughs> you belong to God. But he loves you so much, he gave you a body and a soul. Which is why, you know, you can make up your own mind if you want to serve God or not. We're not robots. Some people say, I had no choice but to serve God. That's a good spiritual lie. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds spiritual. You had a choice. And you made the choice. That's his. This is yours. You got on clothes from this place. You don't have on heaven clothes. You may smell heavenly right now, but there's worldly cologne. And I know I'm being simple, but a lot of people are not accepting Jesus, man. We're just going to church trying to find a hard blade spot. So we're looking a whole lot like the world trying to get people to come to heaven. And so the world just kind of keeps changing so that there's no consistency about your spirit. You belong to God, but your body and your soul have to be changed. Now, what is it going to be changed like? In the likeness of Jesus. How do we do that? By our choices. How are we going to get those choices? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. This power is our choices. Our choices power our bodies. Okay, have you ever been itching? And then you couldn't scratch it? I'm talking to my church for a minute, y'all online. Y'all can play. I'm talking to some real people. This we're gonna play like this third service. Okay, so you ever been itching somewhere? But you knew right then, I can't scratch where I'm itching. <laughs> you had to make a what? Choice. <laughs> Not with your body, but in your <laughs> And your mind said what? Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone. Because your body going to get mad if we really do what we want to do right now. <laughs> bless anybody. Is it? Amen. So the Holy Spirit we're going, is going to tell your mind, this is what we need to do to get to this next step. Because sometimes things are happening to you, and boy, you want to fight, you want to go to social media, you want to gab and yap with people, because that's the new thing. To cause us to look more like the world and less like him sometimes. Satan has figured out a way to work on our madness by working on our minds. And so people get into fights that have never met each other and they kill each other because of the choices that they made. So when he's talking about brethren in James 1 and 2, I love James 1 and 2 up here. James 1, he said, if there's any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Now when he started talking to us brethren, he's calling us brethren, which is my beloved. Um, what he's talking about is, 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 is you don't call each other brethren unless you're in the family of God. And that means you're in the same family. I'm going to take us to school for about three sentences. Don't start tripping. I don't understand this. It's my job. If you don't understand, I'm in the wrong place. Because I am speaking from his word through his spirit. So be patient if you want to be smart Christians and you need some fire. It would certainly be great if you had fire that had some heat to it instead of these little artificial flames. No, I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit. 
I have been as frustrated as I was when I walked up into a store one day and I'm sitting there doing it like this and I come to realize that was just a light. <laughs> there was no heat coming from it, but it looked like a flame. Don't you be fooled by people just because they can run, shout, jump, and twist. <laughs> hey, what, what's coming from it? Okay. So he said, brethren, that's family. Now, if you just raised your hand right now and said you're a Christian or you believe, turn to the person next to you and say, hey, brethren. Hey, brethren. Okay, now if they didn't do that, you do it. You heard it. <laughs> I ain't calling you brethren. We ain't talking right now. That's okay. All right. So James was writing to believers in Christ who were and had believed in Judaism. Listen to me carefully. We're going to say they were another culture. They were another race. They were still Israelites by their earthly race, but he's calling them brethren. They were no longer Jews by religion. Now, they are called Christians because they're part of the heavenly race. When you come to Jesus, we are now part of the same heavenly race. Now, watch this. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ, AME, CME, Presbyterian, Episcopalian, Catholic. Y'all get it? Totally different denominations. But we're going to all end up in the same heaven. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get up there. Y'all get what I'm saying? You might be trying to be a part of something that you're already a member of. Right. Born with a stroke and it caused his right hand to be with it or shorter. So I never knew it till right now. I thought that that left hand was just good at ushering. But he says he can draw. Listen to me, oh, y'all. See, and, and that's why I like coming to church just to learn stuff like that. Everybody has a story. Right now, you are looking at the artwork of a man who's supposed to have a disability. But as you will learn today, he has taken that disability and he's chosen to focus on God's ability. This is the story of Brother Manson. Hi, I Fi family. This is Brother Manson. I like to tell you a little story about myself. When I was born, I had a circuit birth. It paralyzed me on my whole right side. I have a portion of my brain, quarter size, that are dead. I've been through a lot, but I thank God for all that he's done for me. I went through several surgeries, and I thank God that I'm here today. I lived on the streets before. I've been back and forth in church. I had to find my way. As I was growing up, it was a little struggle for me where I could do certain things, but my mother told me I'm not handicapped. I'm handicapable to do anything and everything that I want to do in life. And with that, that helped me. I was always picked on this child, you know, men in fights and I try to run away and, you know, but as like I said, my mother, she told me, you know, stop that. She took me to a guy's house and Talked to him, talked to his mother, and we had both got up there and, and we just started fighting. She told me I couldn't come home until I fought, you know, and stopped with being afraid, you know, not to be, you know, ashamed of myself because I'm just like anybody else. When I first heard about IBOC, I heard Pastor on one time on the radio, and the things that he said, you know, um, it kind of, he was kind of bold with it, you know, it was like, you know, would a pastor say this and he say something about what the hell? But my question is to you this morning, what in the hell do you want? And I was like, wow, you know, he's very bold and, you know, he tells what it is, you know, and that's what kind of, I look back at that and that's what kind of uh, encouraged me to come. If there's anybody out there that's like this or I used to smoke, I used to drink, but just come in, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be, you know, just in in hiding, come to the light. You know, he has brought a new 
life with a new sense of being here. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. And I just want to encourage you and encourage you more. And, you know, come on in into the Highbox family. Share your testimony. Share what, what God has brought you through and delivered you from because he's delivered me. We love you, Brother Manson, and we thank you for telling your story. After church, I come to uh, uh, play Sam's Little Elf and help wrap gifts. Them wrapping gifts, y'all. I can't show y'all because you know. can't show y'all because it's for the nuns. So I'm going to get to it. Got some wrap, good wrapping paper here. We got blue polka dot wrapping paper. So we're going to get to it. And then I'm going somewhere else after this, somewhere that I really want to go. So y'all stay tuned. Juicy. Baby, let me get my receipt because y'all know I got to uh, scan that. 
Yes. So that my juices. So here we go, y'all. I'm gonna post some of it in here. I got some for now and later and probably tomorrow. Look at that, y'all. Look. Yes. And they have my auto just already on deck. I can just say, give me the last, give me my the last order I had. So honey, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna get into it. I've already washed my hands and stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let y'all see, let y'all see. Oh, goodness. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. I'm about to give me a Bible. We're going to thank God. Lord, I thank you for even just thinking about juices and provide. You provided me a way to give me some juices today. Lord, you are awesome. So, God, I just want to thank you for this meal. Thank you for the animals whose life was sacrificed so that I could have this meal. Thank you for the farmers who farmed it, the people that worked in the restaurant who cooked it, and the person that waited on me. Lord, bless them, meet them at their point of need. Father God, I thank you that I will digest this food the way it's intended. And thank you, Lord, for being nourishment to my mind and body. Thank you, Lord, for getting more of the nutrients out, less of the stuff that I don't need. And Lord, I just thank you for it's just a blessing that you have some food, Lord. And I thank you for allowing me to have this meal for free today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, y'all, so let's, let's have a bite before we put it in a bowl. Because y'all know I want it. I want it, I want it. <laughs> mm. So, so, so good. Okay, y'all, so. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag. I mean, in my bowl. I would eat with y'all, let y'all eat with me, but we're just going to go ahead and um, wind down and relax for the rest of the day and wait for the game to come on. Cowboys versus Philadelphia. Um, and thank y'all for joining me for church today and this video will probably be short so I put in my clerk my church clip which I probably already don't put in by the time y'all see this part so thank y'all for joining me for church today and um going with me to watch to wrap presents mm-hmm Okay, y'all. So, if y'all got this for the video, I know y'all don't hit the like button, right? Smash the like. Comment down below. And subscribe. Share if you feel that. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next one.